to my channel welcome to my wardrobe today i'm going to take you through my wardrobe color palette now a lot of people know i love a neutral and this is kind of like a little insight into what is in my wardrobe the colors that i go for why i buy certain things in certain colors etc etc you'll also get a mini wardrobe tour in this so you'll get to have a little peek into all of this um, properly and see what I have and how I organize it so yeah I'm excited to show you and I'm excited to show you the colors that are in my wardrobe which you probably already know but I'm going to show you anyway so in this section here we have all of the hanging stuff so in this section we have all of the pieces that are kind of classed as nice so blouses dresses trousers nice knits jackets um, skirts that all hangs here i just really like the idea of when i open this wardrobe i see it and i'm like oh that's a nice material or oh i really fancy wearing a blouse what blouses do i have and i can look at the materials so if i'm like oh i'm wearing jeans but i really fancy wearing a cream blouse and i can go to like the cream section and be like oh i have this actually i might wear this knit instead so i really like it to be quite inspiring that's why i've organized it this way and that's why it's in color order because i just like to look at it and like to be like oh that is a good wardrobe um this is obviously all of my autumn winter stuff i have a few summer bits in here actually but most of it is autumn winter stuff a lot of this will stay when we get into summer because i have a lot of blouses and lightweight knits and stuff like that but some of the stuff will go because i don't wear it in the summer months but i'm going to take you a little bit closer and show you what is actually in here and the items that I have. Okay, so now you can see a little insight into the colours and textures that are in my wardrobe. I don't know why I said colour, there's not really any colour, but as you can see there's lots of different vibes going on. I'm going to start over in this corner. This is my black section. Now I don't really wear black, um, you'll probably already know this if you follow me on Instagram. Black isn't a colour that I actually get drawn to that much. Um, it's a colour that I wear for basic things, so basic things such as jackets, basic tops, um classic kind of like pieces that you would use in certain occasions but not all the time so i've got like my denim jacket which i love in the summer months not so much in the winter um i've got a couple of dresses dresses again i don't really wear in the winter but i do really like dresses and sometimes there's the right occasion for them um and then i've got like my folio the skirts my folio the jacket this knit doesn't really fit into the black section and I should probably move it because I don't really wear it. But um, this is a gorgeous houndstooth knit, which is great for the winter months. Um, lovely, lovely knit. Then I've got my black blazer, my black roll neck knit, which gets a lot more wear in the winter months. Love it. And then I've got some nice blouses, skirts, t-shirts. This is a t-shirt that um, probably would wear more in the summer months, but it's a nice t-shirt, so I hang it up. Um, I've also got another one here somewhere this is a recent one from uh, H&M I will link this below if I remember <laughs> so yeah the black section is definitely more of a kind of simple basic section but there are a few like more exciting pieces like blouses skirts and stuff like that but like I said black isn't a color I get drawn to that much so it's probably why you never see me buying that much black so yeah but I love this section it has use just not that much use um, so then we go into the colour section. Now, you all know I don't really wear that much colour. I wear colours like this all the time. Um, but I wanted to show you what it is when it comes to colour that I buy into and why I buy into those colours. So the colours that I tend to wear are pink and green. They are the type of colours that you can get in many different shades and especially kind of muted pastel shades, which are the shades that I always go for because they go with my neutral wardrobe really, really well. They kind of just slide in perfectly. Um, so my green section isn't huge. I'm really getting into green at the moment. So there's just definitely a few little pieces in here. Um, but I've got this gorgeous bomber, which isn't actually green, but it's got bits of green on it. Lovely knits. Um, I've got a couple of uh, like slip dresses, which I literally love in the summer. And green slip dresses I've always loved, but I just never seem to buy green. But I'm definitely enjoying a little bit of green at the moment. Um, especially this gorgeous Topshop blazer, which I love. Um, but yeah, green is definitely a colour I'm really enjoying at the moment. And it's a colour that really suits me and I never think about buying it. So green I love. 
not like bright green but like pastel green and then we go into pinks which i don't have that much of pink is actually a color i know suits me i never wear it i don't know why but i know it suits me i have a couple of other pink things in the next thing along um but i do wear a bit more pink in the summer because i feel a little bit more ready for color in the summer um so i only have a couple of things i've got a couple of knits and these lovely satin silky skirts um again color i usually wear in the summer I do love this color in the winter though with a pair of blue jeans so lovely and then we move to the neutral section the section that you've all been waiting for so you know i love a neutral it's just it's just the kind of color that like nudes and creams are the colors that i just gravitate towards all the time and i just know that they're going to look good i know i feel comfortable in them i know that they'll come back time and time again so i always know they're worth going for so it starts kind of dark i don't really have that much like brown colors but um these are kind of darker colors and then we move into like more creams um i have everything in here from like blouses to like knits to trousers like these polka dot ones really cute um, to sweats, to lovely dresses, um, more knitwear, t-shirts. This is a really lovely t-shirt that I recently got. Love it. It's so, so cute. Um, it's a really nice t-shirt. So I like to hang my t-shirts if they're nice. Um, I don't really hang my basic t-shirts because they're just plain. But anything that's a really nice t-shirt, I'd like to hang. And then I've got a couple of knits in here. I try not to hang my knits. But some of them are just really nice. They're not like fold fold and put away they're like i want to see you so i have a couple of those and like i said more blouses and then we get to the white section which isn't very big um i like to wear white more in the summer than i do in the winter i'm more of a cream kind of girl in the winter and like a white girl in the summer um when it comes to clothes but yeah i have a few things this is a recent blouse purchase from zara love it i've got a white shirt another little white blouse and i've got a couple of t-shirts and my trusty what would you call this like um layering pieces <laughs> i've got a couple of crop tops on here these pieces are great for layering at this time of year but also great for the summer so that is my hanging space now as you can see i do love my nudes my creams which you already know but you can see that i buy into a lot of different styles shapes items so that my neutral wardrobe isn't just here's a load of cream jumpers, here's a load of this, here's a load of that, we've got different styles, different blouses, different dresses, like different things that make a neutral wardrobe a neutral wardrobe. So yes, I'm now going to take you into the next cupboard door to show you what else is inside. Okay, so in this wardrobe, it's a lot tidier, a lot more organised. At the top, we have my knits. Now, I don't have that many knits left over, but I do have a fair few. Um, as you can see, there's a couple of colours, a couple of, like, neutral tones. These are knits that I don't wear that much, that I'm not gravitated towards as much. Um, all pieces I love, like my... The pinky ones I do wear more in the spring. Um, I, just, I just love a nice knit, and sometimes... There's some knits that just aren't suited for certain times of year, and some of these aren't. But some of them are, I just like to have them put away rather than hung up, because I know what they are, I know I like them, I can grab them if I want to. But yeah, they're up there. And then up the top, we have my cream chunky knits. Um, I love a cream chunky knit, not gonna lie. I try not to buy them too much every year, because otherwise I'd end up with the biggest chunky cream knit collection and no one needs that but they're up there because that's the only place that i can put them where they fit because otherwise this would be full of like three knits and that just doesn't help me so yeah i keep my other knits here knits that i would i know i can go for knits i do really like but i don't wear it as much then we go to my favorite section jeans you all know how much i love my jeans like i could literally live in jeans i love them so much and there's so many different styles and colours that you can go for. As you can see, I'm more of a light wash blue denim kind of gal. I have a couple of black jeans, um, a couple of light coloured jeans, but mostly blues. And I always buy more jeans. It sounds silly because I don't need them, but I love them. And when you love an item, you're going to buy like multiple different versions of them. Jeans is one of those things. And I will continue to buy jeans in different styles because like why not like i love them i know that they're gonna look good i'll just buy them in different styles and colors and it's just my jeans collection is gonna be huge i just know it 
um this was all this was all like toned down before i came down so i've just built it back up again so yeah love my jeans then we go into my t-shirts and basic long tops t-shirts are something i live in when the spring summer rolls around they're so easy to wear so easy to put on comfortable um you can style them different ways i love my t-shirts and as you can see a lot of them are white basics i love a basic t-shirt a basic white t-shirt is amazing um i do have my sweat up here but that's just because i have nowhere else to put it um and then my long sleeve tops are just kind of layering for winter don't have these out in the summer but they're just great for layering um at this time of year and they just sit with my t-shirts because they are technically a t-shirt <laughs> then we go on to my bags now bags is something that i really like to have like different styles of bags i don't buy into that many expensive bags i have two actually no, i have three one of them's back home but um i do like to have different shapes colors styles i think that way you can really switch out an outfit you could be wearing a black dress change your bag and your sunglasses and you've got a whole different look so i think it's really good to have different styles of bags i don't have a huge amount some of them have been collected over a bit of time and um, some of them are new but i love them nonetheless and at the bottom we just have my large collection of hats, as you know, I love a beanie. I have a nice big beanie collection. And also my, I just shove my scarves and my sunnies down there. Sunnies is the other thing that I'm collecting now. You, you just, you wait. I'm gonna have such a good sunnies collection by summer. <laughs> so that is that wardrobe. I'm just gonna quickly show you my shoes. or just talk you through my shoes, um, which are at the bottom of this wardrobe. So down here are all my shoes. As you can see, they're all quite dark. Um, I don't actually wear a lot of light coloured shoes, which is weird considering most of my wardrobe is quite light. Um, but yeah, I've got black, lots of black boots, my kind of trainers sit along the middle. Um, most worn shoes are probably my Balenciagas, my black Converse and these Topshop boots. I love these boots, they're amazing. Um, but yeah, I have lots of different styles. These are a pair of boots that I think I'll wear more when the summer months roll around. They're gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I keep all of my shoes down here and they work really, really well. So that is a little sneak peek into my wardrobe and the colours that I buy and kind of what my wardrobe actually looks like in terms of colour and textures. As you can see, mostly jeans, mostly white t-shirts and a lot of creams is basically my wardrobe. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Let me know if you'd like to see a more in-depth view of my wardrobe and if you'd like me to do another one of these when spring, summer rolls around, let me know and I will do that also. Um, yeah, if there's any videos that you'd like to see styling-wise, wardrobe-wise, anything, pop them below because I will get to those. I want to make sure that the videos I'm creating are something you guys will really enjoy. So yeah, I'll catch you all in my next video.